Hi, I'm Sean Gannett, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about function operations. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, g of n is equal to n squared plus 4 plus 2n, h of n is equal to negative 3n plus 2, and we have to find g times h of 1. So, what we want to first do is set up what is g times h of n. So let's go do that. We have g times h of n is multiplying these two functions here, g of n and h of n. So to do that, we can show it like this, g of n times h of n. And then let's go show, well, what they are. n squared plus 4 plus 2n is g of n, and h of n is that negative 3n plus 2. And again, that is our g times h of n here. <clears throat> so now, what I want to do is I'm going to actually simplify this first, okay, before I start plugging in the 1 that we have to find. So let's multiply it out. n squared times a negative 3n is a negative 3n to the third power. n squared times 2 is, well, plus a 2n squared. We can do the same thing with the 4. 4 times negative 3n is a negative 12n, and 4 times a 2 is an 8. That's positive. Then we have 2n times a negative 3n, and that's a negative, well, 6n squared, and 2n times a 2 is a 4n. All right. So let's go simplify this. Okay, let's combine our like terms. Nothing is to the third power besides the first term, so we have negative 3n to the third here. Well, 2n squared and a minus 6n squared can be combined, and it's a minus 4n squared. Look at the single n's. We have negative 12n and a 4n, and that's going to be a minus 8n. And then lastly, we just have the 8 that comes down. So again, for consistency, this is g, of, uh, g times h of n, g times h of n. So now I've just simplified it slightly here, and now I want to apply to find what is g times h of 1. Okay. So in doing so, I'm going to plug 1 in for n here. So g times h of 1, this step here, we're plugging 1 in for n. So in doing that, negative 3 times 1 to the third power, and I like to substitute this in with just a parenthesis, minus 4 times 1 squared, minus 8 times 1 plus 8. Then from here, we need to simplify. So again, g times h of 1 is equal to, well, 1 to the third power, right? It's just 1 times a negative 3. 1 to the second power is 1. We have minus 4 here. And then 8 times 1 is 8 plus 8. We can add all this together. So g times h times 1, or of 1, sorry, negative 3 minus 4 minus 8 plus 8 is a good old negative 7. And so after all this, our final answer here is negative 7. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.